I, I think it becomes as popular a payment method as debit and credit, to be honest with you. You know, I okay. think what we've done is driven a wedge in between credit and debit. It's, it kind of sits in between the two, right? Um, so I, I think we're heading toward a convergence of, of BNPL and traditional banking, you know, and or neo banking, um, where, you know, a customer has issued a payment card that's connected to a mobile app and they can seamlessly choose how they want to pay for anything, you know, either at point of sale or immediately after, you know, pay now directly from your checking account, pay with a short term installment plan, put it on a revolving line of credit, wow. put it on a longer term installment plan with interest if it's, you know, a really big purchase. Hmm. So, you know, really it's the traditional financial institutions who are being disrupted, in my opinion. You know, eventually mm -hmm. the credit card networks might get disrupted. If we can move to some, you know, real-time payment rail that our government backs or that the major banks get behind, mm -hmm. but the infrastructure they've built is currently being used by all of us uh, in BNPL, pretty much everybody, right? So I think it's going to take time to get off of that, if ever. Um, so you know, if 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 the question is around addressable market opportunity, like how big does this get? I would look at all all of consumer banking, to be honest with you. Wow. Right? It, you know, if you want to look at the BNPL payment methods specifically, we look to Australia as a guide mm -hmm. for where this can go. And the latest figures I've seen is that in the US, I think about one and a half percent of online retail spend is being processed through buy now pay later providers. In Australia, it's over 15%, right? And they're about two to three years ahead of us in terms of adoption of BNPL and where it entered in. So you know, I think BNPL has a lot of room to grow on its own, but I think really we're going to be pushing more and more into traditional financial services and disrupting, you know, the major banks.